do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we'll go to the next question question number 4 of jwe advanced physics paper 1 2014 and solve the question number 4 so let us solve the question number 4 hello students let us solve the question number 4 the question number 4 a parallel plate capacitor has a dielectric slab the parallel plate capacitor as shown here has a dielectric slab of constant k between its plates so in between the parallel plate capacitor the dielectric slab is introduced that covers one third of the area of its plate if this is the area of the plate so one third of the area that means uh, from here to here only one third is covered with the dielectric whose uh, constant is k which is given here so i will assume that this is uh, the one third part this upper one is the one third part the total capacitance of the capacitor is c the total capacitance of the capacitor is c while that of while that of the portion with dielectric in between is c1 so the whole of the capacitance after this is filled is c but if you think of only portion with dielectric in between is c1 so this part the capacitance is c1 only this part the capacitance is c1 when the capacitor is charged the plate area covered by dielectric gets charge q1 so when you charge the capacitor with a battery voltage say v the capacitor charged and the plate area covered by the dielectric gets the charge q1 so this will acquire charge q1 and this will charge acquire charge q2 as it is shown here and the rest area gets charge q2 the electric field in the dielectric is e1 so electric field here is e1 and here it is e2 that other portion is e2 the choose the correct options ignoring the edge effects edge effects means the electric field that will uh, curve around the edges that we will not consider because the energy is stored within the capacitors so let me draw the core diagram first in a better way because that is very narrow one so this is the area of the plate this is the area of the plate this is the area of the plate and out of is one third up to this is filled with dielectric so this is up to this is filled with dielectric of constant k and here the electric field is uh, e1 this is the dielectric part here the electric field is e2 as shown in figure the charge that is developed in this portion is uh, q1 and the charge that is developed here suppose this is a uh, plus 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 and here it is plus 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 but this charge on this part is uh, q2 here is q1 the capacitance of this part is uh, uh, not given i consider it is c2 capacitance of this part only is c1 the total capacitance of the combination is given as c is the capacitance of the the total capacitance of the capacitor is c so this total capacitance is c i have to connect a battery like so this battery voltage is suppose v so initially there was no charge in the capacitor and uh, i introduce the dielectric and then uh, connect with the battery then this way it will get charged so this will be positively charged this will be negatively charged obviously negative charge will be here this part is uh, having plus q1 charge and this part is having plus q2 charge and so on so on so now we have to check the options the options are that uh, the ratio of the electric fields is e1 and c2 is 1 is given so we have to check whether it is 1 or not 1 first of all 
let us find the ratio of the electric fields the ratio of the, the formula for electric field is that it is sigma divided by epsilon naught k this is the formula this is the formula for the electric field sigma upon epsilon naught k so for this one sigma is a charge of an area so you write the charge that is q1 divided by area that is i will consider this as a1 epsilon naught k k is k here dielectric constant k this is my e1 in this part of the reason the second lower part two third part which is not having any dielectric the electric field is from this plate to that plate but then e2 will be sigma upon epsilon naught because there is no dielectric k is 1 sigma here is charge on this plate divided by area so charge is q2 area i consider here is 2 and epsilon naught because k is 1 if i take the ratio of the two then what i will get because the ratio is asked if i take the ratio of the two e1 divided by e2 what i will get i will get i am just rewriting this two that is given as q1 divided by a1 epsilon k that is for e1 and for e2 i have already written that is q2 divided by a2 epsilon naught <coughs> okay okay now so if i divide that that uh, epsilon naught will cancel out then uh, i have to think of the charge charge is given q1 and q2 and uh, area is uh, a1 and a2 so i have to charge i will see how much charge is stored because uh, if i have to think of how to distribute the charge in this two charge is uh, c into v the capacitance into the potential difference and this combination this uh, capacitor combination can be thought of as uh, parallel they are they are supposed to be thought of like that this combination is something like that is a battery this uh, when you connect the battery then uh, they are supposed to be in parallel so if i connect the battery here then i can separate that two those two and that are in parallel so these are connected with the battery like that afterwards so they are parallel combinations this area is a1 this area is a2 this charge is q1 this charge is q2 the distance remains the same there is no problem with the distance now the capacitance here i have is given c1 and here is c2 and uh, because they are parallel uh, potential will be same so charge q1 is uh, c1 into v and uh, c1 i have to find and uh, that c1 you can find as c general formula is epsilon naught a k upon d this is a general formula for the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor so for c1 specifically epsilon naught a a is uh, one third so a1 that is basically a1 that is one third of area so a by 3 k is there d is there so this is the c1 value so i will write this c1 over here this will be epsilon naught a k divided by 3d into v similarly uh, after you get q1 the charge i am getting here similarly i will find for q2 so let us find for q2 q2 is c2 v v is the same as the battery voltage c2 because this part is uh, 
having area there is no directory so this will be epsilon not a is uh, two third of the area epsilon not a k is one by d so this is the capacitance and this v is the so multiplication of this that will give you this so e1 by e2 basically depends on these factors so i will uh, write this here in the next page this is q1 by a1 and a2 by q2 so e1 over e2 i should have cancelled it earlier but okay no problem q1 by a1 and a2 by q2 now i have already got the value of uh, this i in this actually a1 uh, i should keep here no problem with that because that a1 will get cancelled so if i keep that a1 no problem but then it's okay now q1 by q2 i'll write this by this if i divide this to q1 by q2 what i'm getting i'm just writing from here this divide by this the v will cancel the 3d will cancel the epsilon not a will cancel epsilon not a will cancel only k divided by 2 so q1 by q2 i'm getting k divided by 2 q1 by q2 from here i'll write k divided by 2 what is a2 by a1 a2 by a1 a2 is a two third of area and a1 is one third of area 1 a by 3 that will cancel this will cancel a will cancel that is getting k so e1 by e2 i'm getting here uh, one k is there so here uh, one k is there dividing by a q1 by a1 a2 by q2 q1 by a2 by q2 and into 1 by k is there so that into 1 by k will be there into 1 by k will be there and finally we get 1 so if you proceed like that you will get the ratio as 1 so this is correct option so obviously this will not be the correct option because already we have got e1 by 2 1 so e1 by 2 cannot be 1 by k so again you have to check these two options q1 by q2 is how much that already i have calculated the q1 by q2 the q1 by q2 factor we have you can calculate from here so from here uh, we are getting from here q1 by q2 this is i'm checking for sorry q2 checking for option number three q1 by q2 q1 we have already calculated this and q2 already calculated this so just putting that value and dividing i'm uh, getting here k and here i'm getting uh, left with two so this is the value i'm getting it is k by two but here this given three by k so it is not possible next the ratio of the c upon c1 that means for option number so this is a wrong option for option number four i have to find the ratio c upon c1 and check whether this c upon c1 is equal to this or not c is the capacitance total capacitance of the combination these two combinations are in parallel this is having capacitance c1 this is having capacitance c2 and they are in parallel so the equivalent capacitance of this combination will be c1 plus c2 c1 is uh, having uh, epsilon naught a what that is one third of the total area k upon d there is nothing to going to change with the distance between the plates plus epsilon naught two third of area two third of this a k is one by d d is nothing going to change so this is the c equivalent or i can write this equivalent as c because that is the total capacitance given 
with this symbol C. So if I find C, then this is the value. Similarly, if I find C1, only C1, this one, so this is the value. That is epsilon naught AK over 3D. If I divide these two equations, then what I will get? So from here, I write that C over C1 equals to this one. From here, I will take common epsilon A 3D. So I will take common epsilon A 3D and I will get K plus 2 here divided by epsilon A 3D and K over here. So I am doing that because I will cancel these two terms and uh, I am left with C upon C1 which is k plus 2 divided by k. If I see the option k plus 2 divided by k is there, so it is given that it is 2 plus k divided by k. This option is there, so option 4 is correct. So this is the correct option given. Basically, this question is not difficult. It is just having a little calculation, otherwise it is a very simple question. Okay, thank you.